that I've... Oh my god. Rather than like a re... Do like your phone. Okay, so I just got home and please don't mind the mic quality or the shaky camera and please don't mind Yeah, my table is hella messy, but inside I have something very special. This is Oh, I bought this. This is a DJI microphone. Finally, finally recording audio will be easier for me But basically this is what it looks like. So you have two microphones wireless microphones like these ones basically and this is the receiver so you just attach this to your phone, to your camera, whatever. I'll be attaching this to the camera, so yeah, I will be putting it on now. Hello everyone, so this is the sound quality of the mic and finally I can talk directly to the camera without having to record because before how I would record my audio is that I would separately record on my Osmo 2 which is very very <laughs> it was very inconvenient because I had to film two separate videos and then I had to put them together in Premiere and then just sync up the audio which just took a lot more work but now I can just literally plug this in and talk to you guys directly and yeah this is really cool. Uh, this is what the mic looks like by the way it's like see-through as well definitely a good upgrade i would say i was going to buy the camera osmo 3 today however they were not they were not in stock for some reason so the guy told me like you have to wait like next month and then i'll call you so, um but yeah i'll be using this microphone a lot probably so i also do have plans on updating my desk so this is the wire tray by the way don't mind my bed it's hella messy but this is the wire tray so basically what this is it it is that I will put this under my table. It will hang under my table and it will be where my wires go because currently if you look at my desk, this is my desk right now. If you go behind, you will see this box that I had. There is a box that contains like all the wires and I don't want it there. I can't want it to be under and clean. So we will be changing that with this. So I just have to put this together first. So yeah, I don't even know how to put this together. Okay, weird. Yeah. I don't know if it's killing me. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. I think Hello everyone, welcome. It's almost school, so I have like two or three weeks left for school, so I was hoping I can just make use of my last weeks of free time before hell starts. And today is a special day because I have some unboxings to make. So my IKEA package came in the mail today and a bunch of others. Uh, I will be unboxing them right now, but yeah. So today mainly I'm just going to be unboxing a few stuff and then I, yeah, I'll, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'll be unboxing is this one. This is a guitar string I bought online because my guitar is really rusty now. The strings are very rusty, so I decided to buy like a couple of acoustic strings just so that for the next year I'm covered. So there we go. I hope they pack two because I ordered two. Oh yeah, it it looks like candy, but it's not. It's it's this one. I don't know what brand this is. I just bought this because it, uh, it it looked decent, I guess. And literally everything else looked like a scan. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to be putting these on my guitar later. But what I'm more excited about are these. These are the packages that I've gotten today. So they're both from IKEA. They're mainly plants. And the bottom one is a table top, a bedside table for my bed over there. As you can see, the uh, don't mind my messy bed. As you can see, I put a lamp over there, but it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be a bedside table lamp. So um, hopefully this table lamp will be there and it'll be perfect and everything. So yeah. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering what this is, this is a plant as well. Actually, I'm gonna unbox this right now. I have the cutter, so 
yeah. All right, let's open it up. It's taller than me, so for reference, this is 190 centimeters. I'm 171, so I'm a short guy. This is what it's like standing beside an American <laughs> or anyone from Europe. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't have to assemble it. I just have to. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so there, there's a reason why I bought a fake plant, but let me just... Uh... Holy shit, this actually looks very decent for, for a fake plant. This is not sponsored by IKEA, by the way. Although I wish they sponsored me. Holy shit. This is a tall plant. Okay, so this is basically what I bought. This is the plant from IKEA. Wow, okay, that looks really pretty. Now I just have to like adjust the leaves and everything, so. So the reason why I bought a plant rather than like a real plant, like a normal person, is because I notice a lot of my plants die <laughs> in my room. Even though I do water them, I, I don't know why. I think I have to figure it out. But for now, I did want to have a mix of fake plants and real life plants. So this will be one of the fake plants so that I don't have to worry about taking care of one plant. So yeah, and I also wanted to add greenery to my room. So yeah, and it even says, hi, I'm a reused box. Don't you love Ikea guys? Haha, <laughs> sponsor me Ikea. Also, I don't know why I haven't been using a cutter for my past videos. I don't know why I've been using a scissor. Like, I had a box cutter this whole time. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Damn. So these were really cheap. Wait, I'm gonna increase the exposure. These were so cheap. It's made in China, of course. Plant, it's like a hanging plant. Just really cool. Oh my god. I also bought these. Wait, these are like small potted plants for like shelves or like tables oh my gosh they're so cute they're like tiny little plants i love them so much here you go these are so freaking cute and these ones are also what i bought so these are like i don't know what plant you call this but yeah they're like hanging plants as well yeah pretty much it that's pretty much it i bought three so i bought three of them and uh I want to put them around the room. So one will be for the bathroom because our bathroom plant died, or my bathroom rather. Uh, and the rest will be for my room. So yeah. All right, we're going to be unboxing this one as well. This is the uh, this is the uh, the bedside table. Unbox this real quick. I think I have to open it from this side. I'm not exactly sure. Let me, let me just move it here in the frame. Not exactly sure I will unbox this. Um, where is my my box cut oh, when I need it? Okay, I think this is not the right side. Oh wait, I think this is the right side. Okay, wait. Nope, it's not. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna open it from this side with brute force. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So we have, yep, yep, definitely a bunch. Shit. We have a bunch of boards that I've. Oh my! I should be more careful. So this is the uh, the drawer that I'm going to be doing. Uh, if it doesn't show properly, I'll just put it on screen. So first things first. Let me just uh, open this. Okay, I I need a screwdriver. Uh, a hammer, blah, blah, blah. I also need two people? All right. All right, let's get started. So I'm just going to sort everything first. This is actually a nice color. So it said black brown, which I was worried would look more brownish, but looking at it, it just looks like my table. So yeah, this is great. So yeah, I'm just going to put the big ones here as well. Put, put big ones here. While I make this table, I'm going to be playing a song real quick. All right. Let's get into the time lapse. Okay, 
Okay, so funny, I don't have a screwdriver, but I found this, or my mom recommended this to me. I'm gonna use this knife. <laughs> This knife has like a blunt edge over there and it's not that sharp as well. So <laughs> I'll be using this to screwdrive my, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. All right, <laughs> if you look here, this is what I have to screw, right? This knife <laughs> fits perfectly. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey guys, so right now it's uh, it is currently 519 and there's no power. That's battery power by the way, but there's right now there's no power. And look at the outside. Uh, hello, I hope you can see me. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> there we go. God, I look I look really scary. Currently it's 5 a.m. 5:30. We don't have power right now. Uh, this lamp is battery powered, so uh, I'm lucky that it has some power. So currently there's a typhoon going through the the Philippines. It's called Karina, I believe, Karina Beach. But yeah, uh, I I couldn't sleep last night. I, I slept at like 8 p.m. and then I woke up at like 12.30 and I just couldn't sleep from that point on. So I just decided to stay up until now. And uh, yeah, actually I've been studying. <laughs> um, not, not like studying, studying, but um, I've been trying to learn a different productivity i've been trying to adapt a different study system because i feel like what i have currently is not that great and uh i was hoping that before third year begins uh i want to incorporate some actual i want to incorporate a different study study plan instead of how i typically went with my school because um if you guys don't know i, I relied on anki which is a space repetition app which is great space repetition is amazing active real is amazing but i think i relied on it way too much um definitely there was no room for contextualizing synthesizing and everything so i'm gonna rephrase everything today hopefully when the power comes back though because i can't do anything without the power i can maybe write down a few things on the ipad but whatever uh other than that yeah if you're watching this this is probably the first thing you see a few days ago, I actually bought a few IKEA stuff uh, for my room. I will be doing a room tour in the future because I do believe that a lot of my room has changed. Actually, um, if you guys can see, this is a this is the uh, that's the uh, IKEA tree that I bought. It's like really nice. I have to cut. I have to remove the tag, but yeah, um, it's really nice. I I do I, do I look scary? I'm sorry. Am I am I intimidating you guys? I'm so sorry. I, it's just I I can't turn on anything right now. There's literally no power. It's currently almost the end of summer. I don't know if I mentioned it already in a previous shot, but yeah, I have like around two to three weeks left before school, and honestly, I feel like I don't I don't know why I feel like I haven't accomplished anything for some reason. Even though compared to last year i i definitely did a lot of stuff this month i posted very often and uh, i was very, i'm very active on social media i i don't know why but i still don't know why i feel like i haven't done anything i don't know if it's because i have very high expectations for myself i forgot to wash my face last night which might be very detrimental to my face but my face seems fine i'm just gonna spray some moisturizer um for now while waiting for the power to come back because i don't want to wash my face in the dark I could bring a lamp, but I really just want to wait for the power to come back. Um, it's been like four hours since the power went out. There was power for 25 minutes, but then it went out for another four hours until now. So in total, there was like eight hours of no power. So yeah, in, yeah, yeah. This is this is the, this is Baguio, baby. In terms of my glow up, because uh, I did do a challenge, and I'm still doing it until now, although. I think one thing I learned about this Glow Up 60 Day Challenge is that it's way too optimistic to expect change in like lit in 60 days. I feel like a typical Glow Up for average person cannot take that short. <laughs> I believe it takes more than 60 days to completely transform yourself and because I 
realize that, like I said in a previous vlog, a glow up challenge will make you realize that it's more of a lifestyle change. I, st I started working out less actually. Uh, I transitioned from every day to having three workouts consecutively and then having a one day break because I feel like having, I feel like working, working out every day is just way too much for me. Although we, we will see, if, um, maybe it will be beneficial for me. I just haven't really gotten into the rhythm yet. In terms of skin care, um, I haven't cleared my skin completely. If anything, I just healed my skin to the point where I started because I did have major breakouts during the glow up phase stage. However, one thing I've learned is that I kind of found my regimen already and that's I feel like that's more important. I think that's what's important because I did find the regimen that works. I noticed that my skin gets so much better and one thing I also found out is that expensive products doesn't necessarily mean good results, okay? I bought a I bought the famous La Roche Kika Baum B5. I don't know. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it, but I bought it and I started using it and I started breaking out a lot more. It, it didn't even moisturize my face properly. Um, I stopped using the CeraVe, so at that time I started breaking out more. So I was like, okay, maybe maybe it's just adjusting, but nope. I I just ended up breaking out even more. So I noticed this once I switched back to CeraVe, my skin just started healing like crazy. So so one thing I've learned is that products are different for each person. Each person, it's very hard to have a universal recommendation. Although there are products that are good for a good majority amount of people, I don't think that having a general recommendation for everyone is the wise choice to go for. I think everyone's everyone's skin is different and you know you, you have to experiment a lot to find your routine. But yeah, uh, body-wise, I've learned so much about diet um, and I learned that it's not that hard. <laughs> Dieting is not that hard. Basically, I have adopted this new diet called I just eat less and eat more protein. That's pretty much it. And I've noticed that I've lost weight and I gained it back. But in return, I lost the fat that I had. If you want to lose weight, go in a calorie deficit. If you want to lose weight and lose fat but gain muscle, go on a calorie deficit but also eat more protein and that's what I've been doing. Definitely, I've lost a lot of muscle doing this in the process because I haven't, I'm not very consistent with my protein intake. So, but at the same time, I'm losing fat, which is my number one uh, priority. So yeah, this typhoon's still strong. Let me show you what it looks like. This is outside my window, right? How do I like there? Yeah, as you can see, this, the, the wind is very strong and uh, literally no power. So yeah, I'm probably just going to uh, study a bit more. Uh, I don't know what to do at this point. I, at this point, you know what? I'm just going to wash my face, whatever. I don't care. Um, there is sunlight now, so I can wash my face. There's probably light in the bathroom. So yeah, uh, I was going to get a haircut and I was going to work out with a friend. But uh, unfortunately, the typhoon came, so I will have to postpone that. That's enough rambling. Um, uh, once there's power, I will show you guys my room. I'm really excited to show you guys. Um... Like really, I feel like my room looks so much different. Uh, I like it's like a room makeover kind of thing. So yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> Holy shit! I got jump scared. <laughs> the light just turned on and everything turned on. So yeah, the power is back. Um, so now I just have to. Uh, why is this not focusing? God damn it! Fo focus right now. Come on. There. There we go. So yeah, right now I'm just going, why? <laughs> so yeah, my table is currently really, really messy right now. I have like a random book about pharmacology and anesthesiology. So I'm just going to clean this up. I had porridge for breakfast. Um, very good porridge. Thank you, Lola. Best porridge in my life. You know what? I miss my... Why? What is happening? Okay, and I'm also charging my phone. I thought I turned you off. I thought I turned you off. Why are you ringing? Yeah, get off. There we go. Oh, hi, Emma Stone. All right. Anyway. Oh, God. But yeah, great porridge. Thank you, Lola. Best porridge ever. I'm going to bring this downstairs and I'm just going to clean my room. My bed's hella messy right now. But uh, yeah, after I clean the room, I'm going to tour you guys what's new in the room, as you noticed. Yep, there's a new thing over there. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I keep I intentionally keep the blanket messy because I think it looks better. <laughs> Alright, better charge everything. There you go. That's my power bank by the way. Oh by the way also 
You'll notice my guitar has like, yeah. As you can see, I unraveled my guitar strings and that's because I'm going to change the strings on that. I did buy some guitar strings from online. I don't know if these are good, but I just bought them because why not? I bought two. I realized I need a clipper or the string clipper. I, I, I know it's not necessary, but I do need the tool to remove the pegs as well. I know you can do it without the tool, but what I also need online is mineral oil. So one one mistake I had without with my previous guitar was I didn't properly take care of the fretboard. So I'm planning on buying mineral oil. Um, that's what you use to sort of keep your wood. That sounds really well. To keep the wood in good condition. So yeah. Oh, by the way, say hello to my new plant or fake plant. <laughs> yeah, I as you can see, I didn't even remove the tag yet. <laughs> God, what's what's wrong with me? I also did buy a couple new plants as well. So one over there, one over there, and uh, oh God, wait, I forgot. I'm, I'm I forgot. I'm still cleaning. All right, I'll do the tour later. Okay, as I was cleaning, I'm just saying that man, <laughs> the view outside my window it really does look like a Tim Burton movie. I feel like I'm going to get killed by some Silent Hill beast or something. But yeah, look how foggy that is. Yeah, the, the typhoon hasn't been very, very forgiving. By the way, if you guys think I'm neat, <laughs> look, this is literally just outside my room. Literally outside my room is a box of Ikea and a random blanket that I will wash in the laundry. Um, I have been, <laughs> I, I didn't bring it out because uh, I, I didn't want to put that in under the rain. <laughs> yeah, I totally have a valid reason for not bringing it out. I'll bring it out soon, okay guys? Like, don't worry, trust me, trust me. Let me just close that real quick. Yeah, <laughs> let me deal, I'll deal with that in the future. But for now, room tour, guys. All right, let's start with this new edition of the Kali Notebook Room. So here we have is the left side or the left corner of the room, starting with this wonderful, wonderful fake tree. <laughs> Um, the reason why I did get a fake tree is because I did not want to worry about taking care of a big plant. Um, smaller plants, I'm okay with having real ones, but big ones, I'm worried that because I will not stay at home most of the day, I'll be probably at school. I wanted to get a foolproof plant. It, it, this is from Ikea and it looks real, honestly. If, if like, it looks really decent for a fake plant and um, yeah, totally not because I'm lazy watering, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I did put it there and as you can see, I put I did put it in a big pot as well. Next up we have, please don't mind this tripod. Next up we have is this cabinet over here and I made this sort of the charging station for pretty much all my gadgets and all my camera gear. So we have a charger over there and we have a dry cabinet over here so that's pretty much where I charge everything. And then I bought these small IKEA plants as well. These were on sale and these are also fake as well. Um, yeah, I know lots of fake plants. Um, I'm sorry, but yeah, it looks really nice from afar. It really does not look like fake a, a fake a fake plant um i just wanted to put more greenery into my room i did buy these speaker stands and it's to tilt the uh speakers in a 15 degree angle and so that I can project sound to my ear directly um it's also padded as well so i think it does help with the sound although i'm not a sound engineer but i know that it helps <laughs> so you'll notice that my table is a lot more cleaner than before and that's because the wire at the back the the wire box i had before I removed it and that's because I oh god it's so dark under the table you see a wire organizer um, I will cover it up it looks ugly but I promise everything's organized there but it allows me to have more room for my for my feet I'm not showing any feet pics by the way but yeah um, it allows me for it, it gives me so much room which is a great it was a great purchase to buy the wire organizer and I don't have to worry about my pedals anymore because I just have to bring it from here to there without having to worry about you know taking up space from the wires so yeah and of course we have i replaced the lamp over there with the key one because it kind of matched the vibe a bit more so i do have three of these two of them in my room and one in my in the master bedroom so yeah but moving on to the room tour you'll notice this little rug over here so this was originally in the first floor in the living room but i snug this because i was building uh something which I'll, I'll i was building this which i'll get to in a bit but basically i needed a rug to put all the ikea furniture together and i realized wait if you go to the corner of my room real quick it 
it weirdly the mat weirdly works in my room so i asked my mom if i could just have it here and she was like yeah sure why not and then yeah i, I just stole it so yeah pretty much tree adds greenery and then we have the mat over there so i could have like you know i could have like activities here if i invite my friends or whatever i could play cards there or something yeah tripod you can like you can go away right now but anyway moving on with the tour is my favorite part this bedside desk table so um for a long time i didn't have a bedside table which i didn't really mind but I realized how much better it would have to have a table to put my phone and everything and to charge everything there and lo and behold I got one from Ikea and it just looks so nice it just really works well with my room it's black just like my table or my desk they're both from Ikea and yeah this was really easy to build um, it did take a lot more time than the other ones but yeah so I pretty much put my phone here my those are my earphones and this is actually my mom's uh, my mom's bedside table lamp, but she was like, it looks so good in your room, so you can keep it. Uh, there is a remote here at the back, if I can just reach it out here. If you turn it on, you can change it to different shades of color. You can even lower the brightness as well. So let me just make it like a little bright. Yeah, it pretty much matches the, uh, the round paper lamp I have so it definitely has we definitely have a theme going on here so yeah it has two drawers mainly I keep my electronics here like my iPad my phone and as you can see I have a charger there and that's because I don't know if I can show you but I did not install the the back plate of the, the desk because number one I was kind of lazy to just hammer the back plate like literally if you go up to my room you can see that <laughs> It's not finished like that's the that's the back part of the desk but not only am I lazy to put it together because you need to hammer it but I realized what if I just don't include it so that I can run through my my ports my my cables and it really it really works so now if I just want to charge my phone I just have to put it in the desk and just charge there and what's good about that is that every time I charge my phone I have to put it in the desk or I have to put it inside the drawer meaning that I can't use it anymore which is cool Self-control, because <laughs> I have very bad self-control when it comes to, uh, you know, my, my gadgets, but yeah. I really love this uh, change I had to my room. Just really complements the black theme I'm going for. What we're going th to do next, I believe, is we're maybe going to paint the wall black. Since these two are black, we're thinking of painting this whole section black and then we'll have a shelf or we will just have like a bunch of paintings or whatever um yeah i did want to originally hang a guitar in that wall over there as you can see there's some paint scraps over there so i have to paint over it i did want to hang a guitar there because i do plan on getting an electric guitar but i realized i haven't made any covers with the acoustic ones that's why i'm changing the strings right now but yeah oh i didn't mention but this is also a lamp um this is really this is a wireless lamp that you can charge i pretty much use this when there's no power or stuff oh uh, yeah i just leave it here because it also charges by USB type C and everything. I pretty much love the way my room is looking right now. Um, it is a still a little messy, but yeah, it, I feel like this tree really ties everything together. I will add more real plants. Um, that's pretty much as far as fake plants will go. I still haven't fixed that thing yet. I will fix it in the future, but for now, I'm just gonna put stuff there. It's like some products over there. Currently, it is uh, 7.26 a.m. Uh, I don't know what I'll be doing today. Probably, I'm probably just gonna relax today. And I was going to go out this week, but you know, typhoon. Uh, a little update. The typhoon is now, now it's not as heavy as this morning. I feel like the typhoon's sick like passing now, which is great. Hopefully, everything will get back to normal. Uh, so yeah, 